God bless each and every one of you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. And brothers and sisters, it is so amazing to experience the deliverance power of the Lord from this spirit of oppression, from the spirit of Pharaoh. You guys, the Lord has, he came out of his armory and smited that spirit smited those spirits that held us in bondage and oppression, the spirit of Egypt and Pharaoh, and give God glory for these things, brothers and sisters. Bless and thank and praise his name. You guys, with your whole heart, with your whole mind, bless and extol his most mighty, awesome, and glorious name. Take time to, to worship him, to thank him, to praise him. I pray that he would be on the forefronts of your minds and your hearts, you guys, and I pray that you would fall so in love with him. Fall in love with him, you guys. There is nothing. You guys, his love, it takes, it can take your breath away when you know how much he loves you and in and, and your relationship that you actually make the Lord your habitation. See, in Psalms 91, it talks about um, the Lord being the psalmist's habitation, right? But see, people want to try to just uh, say that scripture. And you guys, um, the scripture is clear. It's because that the psalmist made the Lord his habitation. See, and that means that they put a lot into their relationship right? That for the psalmist made the Lord their everything. And I pray that you would do the same. I pray that each and every one of us brothers and sisters would make the Lord their habitation, would put him above all, and put him above all things. You guys, Pentecost is coming up in uh, not too long, maybe a month and a half or so. And this is what I felt come into my heart and my spirit, you guys, is you guys seek the Lord from now until Pentecost. You guys seek him with all of your heart, mind, and strength. You guys seek him in, in, with prayer, spending time, uh, setting time out from your day to really um, call upon the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit that, the pres that you could just bask in his presence. Even do it for hours a day if you can, you guys. It's worth it. Trust me. And you guys seek him. See it from now. This is what I want to encourage everybody. From now until Pentecost, really make a uh, really work towards being in his presence and seeking him. And have faith, you guys. Just as we've seen the scriptures fulfilled in um, Passover. When we have, and we have experienced the, the deliverance from the Lord God Almighty, from the spirit of Pharaoh, the spirit of bondage, and the spirit of Egypt, the Lord is going to send his Holy Spirit in such a mighty way, just as it says in the scriptures, brothers and sisters. And a relationship, you guys, is what you put into it. Cultivate your body. Live in holiness and righteousness and prepare yourself to receive the power of the Holy Spirit at a, at a greater level. The word in many places, you guys, says purify yourselves. You have to, you guys, you have to be in line with this process. And you have to want the Lord so bad that you seek him, that you're willing to do whatever. And I pray that the Lord gives us a fiery passion and desire to seek him with all of our heart, mind, and strength. I love you guys so much. We got Pentecost coming out coming up and we are going to pre be preparing ourselves to receive the Holy Spirit in an even mightier way than we already have. And now you guys, what we're doing from now, uh, now for the next few weeks is we're going to march on to Jericho. Many brothers and sisters are joining in this battle and we are going to take the city of Jericho. We are going to inherit the promises of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. And I believe Jericho is going to be the first, um, the first uh, thing.
thing that we are going to do because the Lord is with us. I love you guys each and I love each and every one of you so very much. May God bless you all in Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ's mighty name, our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach. And in agreement with our, our these brothers and sisters who watch us with our whole mind, our whole heart, in agreement with all my brothers and sisters, Lord, we forever bless and thank and praise in the name of the Lord God Almighty. And we bless and thank and praise forever the sacrifice of our Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMashiach on Calvary. For it is our holiness. It is our righteousness. It is our resurrection power. And we love you, Lord. We praise you. We adore you. We glorify you in agreement with us, brothers and sisters, Lord. We send up offerings of praises and blessings and thanksgivings. Amen and hallelujah.